Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. It is C Dot Community Day. I almost said Acorn. Which I mean I wouldn't be wrong. Hey there, Johnny's YouTube, you surprised me much like C Dot that just fell from that tree over there. They really scared a Pidgey that was foraging nearby, and I'm pretty sure it did that on purpose. Don't start in C Dots. It's easy for C Dot to trick people and Pokemon alike, because C Dot are almost indistinguishable from Acorns. There we go. Are they appearing in higher numbers right now, or am I seeing double? Could you help me investigate this nutty situation? Hmm. Alright. Power Pokemon 10 times, catch 15 C Dot, make 5 nice throws. Cool. It looks like. The okay, well, we got the uh, incense going. That was a coughing that randomly appeared. This is Ekans. It looks like, uh, did they turn off? Yeah, it looks like they turned off the Sinnoh event. Let's see, what else is going on here? In the Today section, we got 3 hour incense, more CDOT, 5 surprise encounters with CDOT, ticket for scene double. Buddy Pokemon finds Pokeballs every 30 minutes, which is just amazing. I bought the Community Day box already, and 3 times catch XP. So we're gonna go ahead. We got number one shiny. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, first one. Just out the gates. We're getting shinies. Out the gates. We're getting shinies. Let's go. Also, once I'm done with this, yeah. yeah, once I'm done with this, I'm actually gonna be streaming the rest of the event so once I'm done with the special research I will be streaming it's gonna be a lot of fun okay I was about to say we got back to back C dots Ooh, buddy well I will see y'all for the next shiny C dot did I say that right shiny C dot yes all right very cool very cool nice all right so this is the fifth C dot right here, which means we're going to be completing phase one of seeing double. So, oh, let me put on. There we go. There's the rest of the light. All right, got a shiny. Check this. Okay, not a shiny. We'll check. We'll catch it anyway because who knows? This could be a hundo. It could be like a, a PVP IV like greatness. You don't know. It could have been shiny. All the things. Alright, so. C dot. Let's see if this is guaranteed. We got 20 Pokeball. Or, sorry, 10 Pokeballs. 20 C dot candy. C dot. That is not shiny. Okay, so it's not guaranteed shiny from the research. That means last Abra Community Day, we got the shiny Abra from the research, and it wasn't guaranteed. That's amazing. Let's go. Alright, and we get incense, probably another C dot. Also not shiny. This one's 248, the other one was 235. That means this one is better, so that's cool. Then we'll see what Professor Willow has to say. Boom, boom. Shiny check, not a shiny. Alright. Welcome back, Joe. While you were away, I was just refreshing my memory on C Dot. Apparently, it attaches itself to a tree branch using the top of its head and sucks the moisture from the tree it's hanging from. The more water C Dot drinks, the glossier its body becomes. Speaking of that, <coughs> we gotta stay hydrated. Ah. Did you know that C dot can evolve? Ah! Sorry, I was just startled by another one. Why don't you try evolving C dot? Maybe it'll get calmer and stop playing pranks on everyone. Oh, you don't know Nuzleaf, buddy. Catch 15 C dot, transfer 10 Pokemon, and evolve 3 C dot. Cool. Shiny check. Not a shiny. Let's get a, a photobomb encounter really quick. Because. Get five guaranteed C dot encounters from Photobomb. 
Plus, I gotta catch 15 seed art anyway, and this is a quick way to do it. Alright. Also, I'm currently editing my video on all the community days. So that's gonna be coming out later today. Wow, that was loud. Okay, buddy. There's C dot, very cute. Okay, incense C dot first. Not a shiny. And also not a shiny. So I'll see you when we're either done with this or we get a shiny C dot. Alright, so we just did a snapshot and boom! Shiny C dot. This is number 15 also. We'll pretend like that didn't happen. This is also number 15. So that's very cool. And we need to evolve one C dot. So let's do something sparkly. Or oh, well, one more C dot. Yo, let's go. Oof. I like me some acorns. Shiny check. Not a shiny. That's okay. Alright, so first like half hour ish of the event. We got two shiny C dots. Let's see that one or that one. Uh, I'll go with this one, I guess. It was number one. It was the first one to pop up. So it's the first one to get evolved. <sighs> Yo, oof. I like that shiny. Shiny Nuzleaf. It's probably the best out of the three. I like C dot too. Don't get me wrong. We're getting some more C dot candy, some a little bit of XP. Just 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 a little just just a little splash. And then we got Nuzleaf here. Looking nice. I think if they were all guaranteed Chinese, that'd be really cool and another incentive to buy the uh, the, the extra research. But it's cool. It's cool. It's cool though. I like it. Oh, we get another poffin from this. That's kind of cool. Okay, some dust. Yo, I'm stacking up on poffins. Not gonna lie. On the one hand, fantastic work, trainer. Your little C dot has evolved into Nuzleaf, the wily Pokemon. On the other hand, our plan to calm C dot down by evolving it has backfired. Well, it's the wily Pokemon, Professor. Apparently, Nuzleaf can make a flute out of the leaf on its head, and the sound of that flute strikes fear and uncertainty into the hearts of people who hear it. I'm sorry, but I have faith that a brave trainer like yourself can handle Nuzleaf just fine. Don't transfer it to me. I don't want it. That's what he's saying. Maybe if we try evolving it again, the next form will be less scary. Personally, I've been startled enough for one day of research. Okay, so evolve a Nuzleaf for 5 Golden Raspberries, make 3 Giga Curve Volk Throws, and transfer 10 Pokemon. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Catching some C Dots. They're actually really easy to get great throws on, actually. Plus, with the extra uh, Lucky Egg, like 1 hour Lucky Eggs from the Sinnoh event, plus double catch XP from this, you want great throws anyway. Just capitalize on the, all the XP. Yeet. Just great throws. Easy peasy. I'll see y'all for the next shiny. And, uh, or... Oh, there's a little water on my screen. A little, little water on my screen. I'll see y'all for the next shiny. And, uh, I will learn to not keep my water over, any, over my phone. We got shiny C dot. Let's go. And this one is actually 404 C. Rude. This one's actually a pretty high CP for a C dot. You're very, very aggressive. Very aggressive C dot. But let's go shiny C dot number four, which is. Or, no, three? Three. Three or four. We got the first one. We got the... Oh, this is number three. This actually... Okay, this is actually only number three. Let's go. 
that gives us the full family. Very nice. Ivy's meh. Alright. Next, shiny C dot. Alright. So, C dot, I'm done with you. <laughs> there we go. Extra light. Alright. So, we just finished transferring Pokemon, and we just caught a rank 11 Great League C dot, which we used for our Shift Tree evolution. So that's very cool. Very nice. Ooh, one just popped up. Let me just double check, make sure. Okay, you're not shiny. That's fine. Cool. Now we get 20 of those. Some of that. Some of those. We're getting another rocket radar. So, okay. Another incense. Very nice. So, your Nuzleaf has evolved into Shift Tree, the wicked Pokemon. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming out. So. Unfortunately, upon reviewing data on Shift Tree, I learned it can be quite fearsome too. Using its leafy fan, Shift Tree can create wind gusts with speeds up to 100 feet per second. That's strong enough to level houses. I think I need to go tie my mobile lab down. I'd rather be surprised by CDOT than blown away by a Shift Tree. Ha! Lesson learned. Stay up to date with Pokemon, even familiar ones. Thank you for your help researching this odd occurrence. Once these winds die down, I'll be in touch about our next research adventure. Nice. Then we get some Stardust, some XP, some Pineapple, Silver Pineapps, Dust, Rare Candy, and I would assume a Shift Tree. Yep. Very nice. It's even good for Great League. Or, well, it's Great League eligible. Oh, did you see that? Oof, just, you know. So that's going to be it for the episode. Well, I mean, we'll do a little recap of all the shinies in a little bit. But we got to evolve a shiny C dot real quick. And then go over the shinies and show off the rank 11. So. And then I'm going to be streaming most of, if not the rest of, the rest of the event. So let's get into that. Let's also get to this real quick. So, we got this rank 11 shift tree. So, a rank 1 would be 0, 14, 11. This is 0, 15, 8. So, not bad at all. Let's look at our shinies. So, in one hour of playing, we got three shinies. We got this one, which was first click, which is very nice. We got this one. And we got this one. None of these are exactly great IVs. But we're going to go ahead and evolve our first click into Shiny Shift Tree, which is, if I remember correctly, kind of like a reddish hue. So definitely, it's okay. Like, yeah, that's not bad. It's like a purpley red. It's different. I kind of like it. Yeah, personally, I like Nuzleaf better. But yeah, not bad. Whoa. Okay. I also, I also find it weird that, like, when non C dot ones pop up, they leave very quickly. That's happened to me twice. Anyway, that's going to be it for the main episode. At the very end, I'll put in, like, a little recap of all the shinies that we get for the whole six hours. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you did like it, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you're enjoying the series, please subscribe. And as always, God bless and see you for another episode of Pokemon Go.